Welcome to Fresh from the Field Fridays by the Produce Industry Podcast. Here's your host, Dan, the Produce Man. All right, folks, Dan, the Produce Man here with Ross, the Produce Boss Nelson. Now, we're at the Organic Produce Summit in Monterey, California, in a quieter room. So, yeah. anyway, we had some good times today. Saw some good sessions. Yes. And uh, what did you think of that uh, that session that we were both in, uh, organic fruit? Um, I think it was very interesting as they're trying to take different approaches to it. I get from the retailer's point of wanting to have the retail similar to conventional, but you're never going to have an organic cost similar to conventional cost. So, you know, if there really wants to be that kind of a strategy, then, you know, that's going to be up to the retail and the distribution supply chain to, to get that done. Well, that's the thing. You know, the moderator was very good. His name was Daniel. I can't remember his last name, but he was very good. Last year, and he brought up that last year, this person, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I really don't mean to, right? I don't mind you being here, but I'm like, what, 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 are, what are you guys doing? So I was just filming a quick video, a recap of the show. Hey, bless you, gentlemen. Likewise. Continue on, right? And if I'm in the video right now, hey, I'm just, hey, just <laughs> shout out to my mom. And hey, I love you. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good one. You too, man. All right, thanks, Take Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> well, where were we even at? The moderator even brought up the fact that last year on the panel, we had a produce director or a VP from a major grocery company say that yes the price of organic and conventional should finally should should come together but what this guy you know left out when he mentioned that on this session was that the guy last year from that big chain also said that the cost of organic growing is no more than conventional and I was sitting with two farmers and we just looked at each other and I no couldn't way. believe it yeah. Organic is always going to be more because the inputs are always going to be more. Yeah, it's going to be up to the retailer to determine their strategy whether they're willing to take more, you know, want to do more margin on conventional, less margin on organic, and have it blend so that they can ha- keep the retails closer and and try to incentivize the consumers towards organics. Every retailer is going to have their own approach on what they feel is the best for their business. Yeah, I think so. And I, I used to do the same thing. I had organic and conventional, and there were plenty of times where the organic just the cost to me for some of the organic items was less than the conventional so i would do like they said just carry the organic one until the the yeah. price has changed back to to normal and in my time at retail i mean we always found more value in organic on the on the veg and the wet wall yes you know absolutely. Uh, doing organic there you know in the fruits it's it varies if you only have organic grapes there's going to be a big period of the time where you don't have any grapes because there's just not organic availability year round. Yes. So you got to take different approaches to what your customers and what's best for your business. Well, I think we're past the days now where stores throw and like, and a guy did say that on today's panel, he did say, you can't just throw up a bunch of, put some organic in a little basket and, and okay, there's our organic section. And the stores used to do that and they go, okay, that's our, we've got organic. You can't do that anymore. Those days no. are long, long gone. And the Democrat, everything that they broke down from the different generations. It, well, actually, that was, the, I think, the second session. Yeah, that was the uh, keynote. That's right. The Gen Z, the Gen Y, the Gen X. The Boomers. Uh, the Boomers, which I was very happy because I happen to be one. So I was happy that she included that in there, too, as, as a major buyer of fresh organic produce. Yeah, there was uh, some very good sessions. The first one that I was a part of was the labeling, and there really was no formal analysis done. Basically, that current labeling is confusing consumers more than helping consumers. Uh, you know, with all the the labeling, gluten free, you know, oh right, kosher, organic. You know, they can put nine different certifications on a package, but what what is a consumer really going to get and understand out of that? So. Uh, there's still confusion going on there. I really like the keynote. I felt uh, the keynote was good this year. We started off with, you know, food waste and how to combat that. Yeah, that was good. Different avenues. I mean, to to have an app that you can see what is discounted in in your area that you can go and get at a discount that needs to be consumed 
rather quick. Uh, there's definitely is value in that for both sides of the supply chain. So uh, it was kind of cool to learn about that. And then you know, Kevin Coop always does a good job moderating there. Uh, just some good discussion with those gentlemen. You know what's going on at um, at the marketplace. So. But I did miss the labeling one. But to get back to that real quick, it is confusing for the consumer because, like you said, all these different labels on. You know, a bottom line is what is the eating quality of what's inside that package with all those labels on it? What is going to make the consumer buy that again? Are they going to eat something that's mediocre because it's non-GMO, organic? gluten-free, like you said, um, or whatever it is, oh, or do they want good eating quality and they don't care what the label says, or, or, you know, or there's eating quality and the label, whatever the labels are, inside that package, especially with fruit, it has to be good well, eating quality. And people, people want to know the certifications, but is there a better way of going about the labeling so that it's clear for consumers so that you... You know, if there are nine certifications, you're not cluttering up the packaging with these nine certifications. You know, can there be a different way of communicating it, but the way of maybe a symbol that shows maybe three combined? I don't know. There's different ways that I think uh, people smarter than me are, are going to have to look at and, and figure out as as packaging continues to evolve. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to have to come up with some new words, <clears throat> so we'll have yeah. to make them up. <laughs> We'll do that right here on yeah, the podcast. We can figure it out. <laughs> That's exactly cool. Well, it was a great show. The floor show was really good. Um, it was packed. Yeah, it was packed as, as usual every year. I had a great time. I only came today. I drove in this morning. I'm going to drive out tonight. I'm two hours away, so it's no big well. Who knows going back. <laughs> Could be a lot of traffic when it hit San Jose and that in the Silicon Valley in that area. Uh, back to the bay but anyway it's always a good show i like that it's close by for me and it's a nice spot to uh, to come to monterey this time of year there's i don't think uh you can find a better venue for this i know the show is could could use a bigger space but i don't know that you're going to get the audience or the attraction if they were to to look at a different venue so no they only had one other venue at uh, one time and that was three three years ago maybe four years ago when they did it in september I think it was 2021, and it was done at some place right outside of, I'm trying to remember the hotel, I don't remember the name of it, it's terrible, but it was more out in the country and open space and everything was, most of the stuff was outside. That was during coronavirus, but other than that, you're right, great venue, great show, great place. Packed. And we saw a lot of good a people of, that we always talk to. A lot of great produce people. I was pleasantly surprised to see how packed the keynote was. I mean, there was people standing around the perimeter, not a lot of empty seats available. It was it was packed. Yeah, that says a lot, that's for sure. Well, thanks, Ross. Appreciate you being here with me on Fresh from the Field Fridays. Thanks, and, Dan. Uh, and, and Ross will be, we'll see a lot more of Ross pretty soon here on Fresh from the Field Fridays as well. So, can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong. That's right. I love the field. All right, folks. Till next time, this is Dan the Produce Man reminding you that it's always best organic and fresh. Do you have a Ross the Produce Boss sign-off? You're going to have to come Not up yet. with a Ross the Produce Boss sign-off. <laughs> I'll get you and Patrick to help me out. We'll work on that. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, Ross.